Welcome to my fragrance show. We'll learn together and grow together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hey, welcome to my show. I am Marshall's Blend Fragrance. Coming at you with the lint on the shoulder. <laughs> Let's get right to it. I'm going to be unopening the Hugo Boss Bottle Unlimited. So let's talk about it. Boss Bottle Unlimited by Hugo Boss is an aromatic fouge, fouge, fouge fragrance for men. Boss Bottle Unlimited was launched in 2014. The top notes are mint, grapefruit, and violet leaf. The middle notes are pineapple, cinnamon, and rose. The base notes are labdanum, white musk, and sandalwood. So let's get right to it. I don't know exactly what to expect. This is and for the, my first time opening and taking it out. I did previously take off the plastic, but I promise you I've been saving this to be able to open and share with you. So the top is pretty good, look at that. Top is pretty good. Let's get to the spraying. I recently shaved, so I'm not gonna spray too much around them. Wow, this is definitely a Fougere. <laughs> it smells really good. Oh man, that is a wonderful smell. I could say gourmand also, it tastes good. <laughs> this smell really reminds me of another fragrance and I can't put my finger on it, but it smells identical to another one that I really love. It, the opening is very blue-esque. It's very blue-esque. Uh, the opening for my nose reminds me a lot of like uh, Dylan Blue by Versace. Allow me to check myself before I wreck myself. So here's the Dylan Blue. Let me... Okay, I see why I would have said that it reminded me of it, but no, it doesn't smell like it. All right, so correction. And this is what it really, really reminded me of. Roger and Gaillet definitely does it. it it has a blue-esque smell and that immediate opening of dylan blue it does resemble it but literally it's just that one second so that was what maybe my brain was recalling but not it, it's not a total no so scratch what i said before but now this is the roger and Gaye. they're mint this is their lom mint And so that's definitely what it does remind me of, the opening. So the opening, not the immediate opening, but the in between the opening and the middle or the heart, it kind of resembles Roger and Gaillet L'Homme Mint. I mean, these are all wonderful fragrances. It doesn't matter. I mean, like if I would have confused it with Dylan Blue, okay, no problem. But Dylan Blue smells good too. Roger and Gaillet. Low mint also smells wonderful. <sighs> Dylan Blue was amazing. But anyways, back to the episode. Bye. Now, what the dry down will be, I don't know. But from what I hear, it is absolutely amazing. And I know they came out with the scent. I was just watching Red Olescence talk about um, the scent. And I had been wondering about getting it. Uh, I'm gonna, I was going to say last night, but it was early this morning. I was thinking about it. I was like... Should I get the scent? Chances are I'm going to do it also. Um, I don't really... This is my first boss. So I'm going to start checking them out. But I can tell you, that smell is amazing. That fouge quality, that barbershop quality is definitely there. But very jovial, very young. For me, I'm 42. So it's definitely something a person younger than me could wear. And someone my age can wear too. It smells like the dry down will definitely lend itself for anything as far as wear. I like this smell. So you do pick up the rose, definitely pick up the cinnamon, and 
the grapefruit is what's that opening is that grapefruit and the mint that mint I, for some reason i'm loving mint a lot so yeah that's really good the base is going to have labdanum white musk and sandalwood so you know that the dry down is going to be wonderful and some of that sandalwood is peeking through so this smell for me is absolutely a 28 30 out of 10 just with the opening and i'm learning to be able to kind of expect the dry downs i'm learning i'm excited about that you know which one throws a curveball um azaro wild mint that one has an opening that you don't expect the dry down for the dry down is totally sauvage but the opening is something absolutely different but yeah so i like it it is something i would purchase as a gift for someone else and i'm happy i purchased it and i will be purchasing another bottle i this i can see me using it and you guys have seen how i spray myself so goodbye my lovely fragrance blenders i'll see